hearing some uh, interesting stuff, especially out of Iraq, as they have finished passing yet more legislation. Um, borrowing, uh, as I am told, in that is a uh, or, or hidden in there is a rate to be expected soon. Um, <clears throat> my chatter out of there this morning was really good, uh, especially amongst one of the contractors that I have on the ground there. So I'm pretty excited about that part. Does it tell us exactly when? No, but it tells us that they are definitely making moves in that direction. Um, <clears throat> on the election front, I have heard some very interesting things. Uh, one of you guys actually dropped a piece on me uh, this morning uh, after I had already heard late last night from contacts within the Beltline that they now had three whistleblowers in productive custody over Dominion. And then somebody drops this. How accurate it is, I do not know yet, but um, I find it very interesting. Uh, supposedly, we have whistleblowers that are outing the Dominion fraud. Um, this article says about 38 million. Uh, my contacts are saying there could be as many as 40 million uh, bad votes out there, which to me is stunning. I have never even thought that that was a possibility. If you would ask me yesterday, I'd say there's about an 80 or 90 percent chance we were going to end up stuck with Joe Biden. Now I'm going to tell you, I am at this point believing 80 or 90 percent chance we're going to get uh, another four years of Trump. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, an interesting overnight on the news cycle. Uh, also, Georgia is now a hand count, a hand count of ballots uh, for, for, for that one. So that is big news, guys. That will remove a lot of opportunity for faulty election systems and uh, software engineering on that one. Uh, so much going on. And then I shared this one. Uh, for those that joined a little bit early, you saw this one as they drop. At this point, this guy's was from midday yesterday or so. 234 pages of... Uh, evidence, affidavits, all those things pulled together, guys. I love this. Um, uh, I read the mainstream news, and New York uh, Times posts, anonymous source says uh, there was no election fraud. Anonymous source says this. Then you look at it on the other side. It doesn't say anonymous. It says signed affidavit sealed. Uh, <laughs> you know, whistleblowers, you know, people with names, not just some anonymous says this. But real people, you know, with pulses and stuff. Uh, it is so much going on, guys. I'm almost getting excited. Okay, I'm, I'm more than a little excited. I'll admit it. Uh, let's see. What else did I have for you? Oh, guys, uh, the, the news going out there. And of course, we saw, or, or many of you saw it, supposedly, or saw screenshots of Fox News saying Soros, major shareholder in the parlor. I am told by shareholders in Parler, um, won't mention who, that that is absolutely false. Remember that Donna Brazil, uh, former DNC chairwoman, is now an interim director and contributor at Fox. Guys, don't believe anything you see on Fox anymore. Uh, I Hey, I could be wrong, but it looks like to me they did a, they wanted to control Fox if they would control what you and I thought. And I uh, don't. Go for it. Not that I'm a big parlor fan, guys. I'm not running over there. It's not as user-friendly. I'm there, and I try to post what I post on Twitter. I try to move it over to parlor as well so you guys can see it. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> there is more hate than good sense. Trying to think of other stuff. Uh, we don't have any money movement yet, guys. I don't have anybody paid. I don't have any news for you on CMKX uh, packages, settlements, or any of those, uh, Jules, none of those good things have seen any movement that I can trace or find. 